it is officially day four of living on one pound a day for five days and i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling it pretty rough today this is the first time that i'm picking up the camera and it's already i think like half six so that's not great i did film everything that i've already eaten today nothing was particularly shocking i had the porridge with peanut butter for breakfast i then had two of those oat banana peanut butter cookies with some leftover milk and then for lunch i had my vegetable soup with two slices of bread which still isn't that great i am going to be so happy when i don't have to eat that soup anymore because it's just really not that nice and it's a lot warmer today and I just really didn't fancy soup but that is everything I've eaten so far and I'm just not feeling too great. I don't know if it's to do with the food or if I'm just stressed and that's making me not feel so good. Whatever it is, I'm not feeling too hot but I am going to make some dinner and the dinner I have planned this evening is actually different to the dinners I've had so far. So it is not my standard pasta with sauce dinner, I'm actually going to be attempting to make a pizza. I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> Honestly, if it goes terribly wrong, I'm just gonna have peanut butter on toast for dinner because that is more what I'm in the mood for this evening. You know, when you're just feeling not too great and you just want toast and, well, what I really want is toast and butter and Marmite, but peanut butter will do. So if the pizza goes terribly wrong, that is what I'll be having. But I am gonna attempt making a pizza with oats, water, the leftover pasta sauce and those frozen vegetables. It sounds quite grim, but I feel like if I don't give it a go, I will regret it because I need to have some sort of variety this week. I can't have pasta for dinner every single evening. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of attempting to make pizza. Fingers crossed, something edible comes out at the end of it. But if not, like I've said, I will be having toast for dinner. So I'm gonna start by making the pizza dough. And I say dough in quotation marks because <laughs> if this is dough-like, I will be very impressed. But basically, I'm just gonna take a bunch of these oats and blend it up into an oat flour and then just mix that with water until it's like the right sort of consistency. Again, I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're just gonna experiment. I think I might also try and crumble a little bit of a stock cube into it because I obviously don't have any salt to use and I feel like dough needs a little bit of salt. So that is the plan. I'm gonna start off by putting some of these into this and blending it up. Those oats actually blended up surprisingly easy. So I'm gonna add this to my bowl. I feel like there's probably a few oats that aren't blended in the bottom, but that will do. I'm now gonna crumble, I think probably half a stock cube into this and then mix it up and just slowly add water until it's like the right sort of consistency. What consistency that is, I actually have no idea, but we will see. I have dissolved half of that stock cube in a little bit of hot water. Mm. I figured that would be the easiest way to add that to this without getting a bunch of lumps, so. That is going in with the oats. I really have no idea how much water I'm gonna add. Definitely gonna need more than that. This is what my pizza dough is looking like. To be honest, I don't think it actually feels that bad. It smells very porridgey, and I'm slightly worried my pizza is gonna taste like straight up porridge, but as like a dough, I feel like I'm gonna be able to mold this pretty well. So I'm gonna roll it out on this baking paper and then probably bake it in the oven for maybe 10 minutes or so before I add the sauce or any toppings to try and stop it from going soggy. I have rolled the base out into the best circle that I could manage and I'm gonna cook that for probably about 10 minutes or so at least until I can tell that it's slightly hardened. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna prep the frozen veg. So I'm gonna defrost it just so when I put it on the pizza, it doesn't make it super soggy. Pizza base is out of the oven and it actually feels relatively crispy. It has held together quite well as well. So I don't wanna speak too soon, but I feel like this potentially could work. Don't wanna jinx it, but at the moment the pizza base is looking okay. It definitely smells a little bit weird. It's a weird stock cube porridge combination, but I'm gonna ignore that and just hope that it tastes okay. 
I've also defrosted some of the frozen veg over here. I feel like these are weird vegetables to have on a pizza. I guess sweet corn is pretty normal, but the rest, kind of weird pizza toppings. I mean, people definitely have weirder things on pizzas. I know that some people put banana on their pizzas, which is just so baffling to me. I guess technically I do still have a banana left for the rest of this week, so I could try it if I wanted to. But I'm gonna stick to the frozen veg because I don't wanna destroy what potentially could work. I then also have what's left of the bolognese sauce so I'm gonna put both of those on this base and cook it for a few more minutes and then I will try it out. For a makeshift pizza this definitely doesn't look too bad. I mean I wish I could add some vegan cheese and maybe some other toppings but at the moment it is looking pretty edible. Pizza is cooked. It is definitely not the prettiest pizza I've ever seen, but considering it's made from super cheap ingredients and not the right ingredients to make a pizza, I'm actually quite impressed with myself. I think if I had proper pizza toppings, this wouldn't look too bad. So I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm really hoping it is edible because otherwise it is gonna be a toast dinner. That is definitely not awful. I could eat this. The main taste is just the pasta sauce, which is fine. I would like to add some other things like the, the Papa John's special garlic dip. I could literally have that on any meal and it would make that meal better. So if I had some of that with this, I feel like it would be a decent meal, but on its own, it is not too bad. I'm honestly so impressed with this. I feel like I wasn't expecting to like this, especially because I'm not feeling too well. I didn't think I would be able to stomach this sort of meal but I'm actually quite enjoying it. I mean, I'm definitely gonna finish the whole thing and I prefer this to the soup I've been having for lunch. So I feel like that is definitely a win. The base isn't really like a pizza base. It's more like an oat biscuit, which I guess makes sense because it's literally an oat biscuit. But with the toppings and everything, I feel like it's fine. It's like a flatbread sort of dinner. The flavors just taste exactly the same as the pasta because obviously the sauce and the vegetables are the exact same but I feel like I can't really complain about that. It is an edible meal, so I feel like this has been a success. I absolutely demolished that pizza. It was, well, I don't wanna say so good because obviously other pizzas are better, but it was way nicer than a lot of the meals I've been having this week, so that was a win. I was also a really big fan of the pizza base. Like, I feel like I would make that again, but maybe as like small little crackers. I feel like if you did the same mixture but just baked it for a shorter amount of time they would make really good savoury biscuits with the stock Cuban oats. Like it's a nice flavour, it was a good texture. I feel like they'd be the kind of thing that would be really good with some vegan cream cheese or like cheese and crackers in general. I feel like they would make really good crackers. So I might give that a go at some point. I would recommend trying them out because it was so cheap and so easy. I feel like you can't really go wrong and you could switch up the seasoning to make like different flavoured crackers. I feel like it's probably a thing that already exists, like oat biscuits are a thing, but if you haven't tried making them, I definitely recommend. But that is gonna be everything that I'm eating today, I think. I will put the nutritional value of everything I've eaten on screen now. I was tempted by having the banana that I've got left, but to be honest, I'm not feeling that hungry. I feel like, again, it's because I'm not feeling too good, so my appetite is maybe not as big as it would be normally. That is going to be everything I'm eating today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with day five. Bye.